Kakhiso Media Group has reported this morning an 11.4% decline in full-year headline earnings per share to 135.5 cents. The group's revenue, excluding the LexisNexis contribution, was up 21.3% to 9.9 uh, .9 billion rand. And joining us from the JSC for a look at the numbers this morning is Murphy Marobe. He's CEO at Kakhiso Media. Thanks so much, Murphy, for joining us today. So we've got uh, a loss in uh, headline earnings per share coming to the fore in today's numbers but reading through the commentary uh, you've been citing improved market conditions particularly in the broadcasting space run us through the current operating environment for the group I think the the the, the, the number that you've referred to in fact uh, re reflects the the stance that the group has taken to focus mainly on growth so we've had to spend to try to get the group in a position where it can have an, an uptick. And, and clearly, when one looks at the broadcasting numbers, they've come up quite well in order to, in, to, to, to show up the rest of the group. Now, that's actually part of our strategy going forward because we have been looking at how we can invest in other areas of media, information, and communications to afford us that diversification profile to be able to, to, to stand radio broadcasting in good stead during difficult times. So this year, it was for the time for broadcasting to come to the party. Of course, a lot of repositioning, as you've been saying, uh, you know, disinvestment happening on the one hand and then acquisitions being uh, made on the other hand. Run us through how exactly you're positioning yourself within that broadcasting space because there was a disinvestment made from LexisNexis, but then a buy-in to Juta. I think the, the buy-in to Jota came in, it was a fortuitous, in fact, a, a, a good break for us. But what it does, it still keeps us on a footing where we would have an asset within our portfolio that will be quite important for our ambitions of moving deeper into the continent. And clearly when one looks at the repertoire, not only of Lexus, of, of, uh, of uh, Jota, but even of the acquisitions that we've just made, they all speak to a very deliberate strategy to take a Kahiso media to becoming one of the most important media, in fact, uh, uh, players in the, on the continent. Of course, uh, when it comes to uh, you know, the kind of investments you've made, you've also made uh, a very big investment into uh, the Blue Bulls specifically. And uh, some would uh, find it very difficult to see the rationale for an investment like that. So how does this tie in to this philosophy you've highlighted? Yeah, it, it, it does come across as a left field kind of decision, but I think that uh, it also speaks to strategy. We have within our midst a number of businesses with whom, in fact, the Blue Bulls acquisition will sit in exceptionally well. In this context, I talk about Cajiso Vantage, formerly Mobile Alliance, mm -hmm. which currently has contracts with the Stormers. Uh, we'll, of course, the, blue, the Blues one is, is an investment as opposed to the Mobile Alliance one, which specializes in digital displays at sporting events where we monetize those to the benefit of both the teams and, of course, Kahiso Media. So the Bulls one will sit exceptionally well within the strategy. Of now, course. of course, the, the point about it is that we, we won't be playing rugby, but we are <laughs> in the rugby space insofar as it relates to the commercial dimensions of rugby. And our, our business is to make sure that the Bulls in fact, have a, a significantly appreciable asset. Of course, uh, this uh, speaks to you know the kind of synergy that you're able to extrapolate from a relationship like this, but it also speaks of the fast-evolving media and media landscape. Uh, take us through the current trends that you're witnessing as a major player within this sector of the economy. You know, at, at the heart of it all is, is the consumer. And when one talks about the consumer, the consumer is out there seeking desiring content and it looks for content in ways in which they can decide what it is that they want. In this case, the various investments that we've made have at their core, in fact, the de de development and dissemination of content. In the case of uh, uh, Juta, we have very strong educational content-based institutional organization that is quite uh, uh, well located within the legal and uh, higher education sector. When you look at uh, uh, the Jacaranda or East Coast Radio, 
it's about uh, talking to the listeners on radio listeners, mm -hmm. providing them with the content that makes sense to them and that they want. But of course, the, 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 the utility in terms of the way in which people consume changes their different forms. Now, our investments are beginning to locate us in the different platforms through which, in fact, we can access consumers. One of those, uh, you know, investments that you've be uh, that you've made is, uh, you know, investing into the launch of community channels, and that hasn't entirely uh, played into profit just yet. Uh, talk us through the return on investment potential that you're seeing in that category specifically. I think the the our our investment in communities is based both on our appreciation of what community television is, the service that it provides to communities, but we, we get involved also because there is, there is commercial rationale over the long term. In this case, one of the properties that uh, our uh, uh, subsidiary, Eben Brew Studios, is involved with, that is Soweto Community TV, it took about two to three years before that station was able, in fact, uh, to, to have a positive return. So we, we have a long-term view. We want to locate ourselves where we can add value, make a difference, and facilitate the development, in fact, of community television. So in, in a way, I think that once you play in that space, you have the prospects of creating a significant, in fact, uh, uh, base in, uh, for, 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 for the marketing department.